Every time I opened my mouth, I f felt like there was something wrong with me. And no matter how hard I tried in s speech therapy, I c couldn't fix it. I've started seeking out other people who st stutter and listening to their stories. And somewhere along the way, I found mine. Well, that is a clip from the documentary film, The Way We Talk. Roughly one in 20 children go through a period of stuttering. More than 30 million Americans suffer from it, but it's a condition people don't really know much about. And this film is trying to change all that. John Sloan is helping us put stuttering in focus tonight. He is the director of the Hearing and Speech Agency Center for Fluency Enhancement. Does this film show us what stuttering is all about? This film really helps us to initiate a uh, discussion about the stuttering, and that's exactly what we're hoping to do. It covers a number of aspects of this individual's personal life, and we want to be able to share it with Baltimore community to be able to start the discussion, too. John, are you born with a stutter? No. You are not? No. So when does it come about, then, if it comes? Typically what happens is stuttering will appear during the rapid speech and learning years, usually about two and a half to five years of age. Most children who um, go through that normal period of speech and language development are basically in a dress rehearsal period for language. So during that time period, uh, there's a lot of practice. There's a lot of trying out new words new sentences, uh, new constructs, and there's also a lot of mistakes. Parents react to that very, very differently. I was just going to ask you, what if we heard something uh, that didn't sound that, that way? What are, what are you supposed to do right away? Parents react to that a little bit differently yeah. when suddenly there's more repetitions than you would expect. Okay. Or children start to demonstrate what are called prolongations, where when they begin to speech, they stretch it out a little bit longer. And then, one of the behaviors that's very unique to stuttering is what's called a block. And the block is, I know what I want to say, and physically the word is here, and I just can't produce it. And it's frequently associated with an increase in physical tension, sometimes changes in breathing. Yeah. Um, and it's something... Well, John, is it the brain? Is it the tongue? Not, is it the brain not sending the, uh, the message, not getting quick? Uh, where does it all work? It's kind of all of the above. Uh, research hasn't come up with a definitive factor for, in terms of causal factor for stuttering, but we know that there are a number of factors that contribute. You mentioned the brain. First of all, the neurophysiological behavior. Uh, research supports that children and young adults who stutter typically process language differently than individuals who don't stutter. We look at uh, family history. If there's a history of stuttering within the family, oftentimes there's about a 50% chance really? that an individual is at a higher risk. Now, the, let me ask you, though. The, the one, uh, the, some stutters, they, they start, they can't get it going. Mm -hmm. And then others have the sentence, and all of a sudden that's when they repeat in the middle of the sentence. But it's all, you're saying that it's all pretty much the same? Right. It's all different manifestations of that initial fundamental behavior. Uh, when oh. children, most of the stuttering that people are familiar with uh, we, we call developmental childhood stuttering. And that can be any time, usually from early language learning years up through 18. That's uh, more unusual to see someone older. Yeah, let, but, let me ask you two quick sure. questions. We're running. Uh, can you grow out of it? Probably the young children who demonstrate those non-fluent periods. Mm -hmm. Research is in our favor. 75% of those children typically, sometimes it says outgrow language. We like to choose that these kids mature into their speech and language if skills. If anybody has any more questions for you, how do we get in touch with you? You can give us a call at the Hearing and Speech Agency, Center for Fluency Enhancement. Phone number? Yeah, go ahead. 410-318-6780. Um, brings you right into our center. Uh, we specialize in the treatment of fluency. Uh, we're very proud of the fact that we're the only program in Baltimore that provides comprehensive services to individuals who stutter pretty much across the lifespan. Oh, good, and I hope this movie does what it's supposed to do. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank you, John.